Hi Springville, this is Britt, your tween librarian, and today I have a sloth craft for you. But what's extra special about this craft is check out what it does. He can actually hang! He's so cute. So let me show you what you need for, to make this little guy. You need some cardboard, scissors, a black marker like a sharpie, a pencil, a couple clothespins. If you don't have clothespins, you can supplement it with uh, maybe, or substitute it with maybe string, or some kind of thing you can tie. Um, hot glue gun, be careful. I've got a paintbrush and some paint. So the first step to make this guy is to make your sloth body out of cardboard. So what you're going to do is just kind of make this general shape. Kind of looks like a gourd or something, I don't know. So you can just freehand it and then make a head and a body. So yeah, just got a little body drawn. The next step to do that after that is just to cut it out. I've already done that for time's sake. So here's my little soft body. Um, Cutting cardboard can be hard, so get an adult to help you if you need to. Okay. So first thing, once I have the sloth body, is to start painting. So what I'm going to do is give them some spots. If you want them to have spots, you can skip it if you want. And his little white face. So we're going to do that first. I like to use the scraps from um, the cardboard for my paint. So we're going to start with white. You don't need a ton. It's a little bit there. Okay. I've got a paintbrush, nothing special. And I'm going to load up some paint on my brush. And for my spots, I used the very tippy end of my brush, and I'm just going to dot it with that. Let's see. So you see how I just very lightly press the end of the brush to the cardboard, and it gives little spots. sloth has dots, has spots. Try not to smear them. It's going to be wet for a while. And I'm going to move on to his little face. And you can design his face however you want. Mine's kind of, um, he has a little heart shape here. So I'm going to make a little dip. If you need something to reference, you can always look up sloths, like sloth pictures online, maybe. We've got books with sloths in them. Okay. I think I'm happy with how this looks. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So he's got the beginning of a face. Now you're going to need some time for this to dry before you put on his little mask, his little eyes and face. So give this maybe 20 minutes to dry. Depends on how much paint you put on it. But how I just how I did the face was once the paint was dry, I took my little sharpie. And I drew him, I drew these little black spots and left little white spots for the eyes. And the next, oh, and I also used the Sharpie for the mouth. And then if you have it, if you have any little, um, if you have any other paint colors, 
You can also use it to paint instead of the Sharpie. And I gave him a little pink nose. So that's how you do his face. Next, I'm going to show you how to do his arms. Okay, so I'm going to take my clothespins. And on this clamp side here, I'm going to give him little toes. And that's as simple as just drawing two lines on the end of that. So I guess our sloth is a three-toed sloth. And next, it's as simple as gluing these to his body. So I'm going to decide where I want his leg. I'm just going to put some glue on there. And I'm going to press it down on that. So that's leg one. Let's get the other one on there. More glue. Glue guns can be hard and they can be a little dangerous since they're hot, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Get a parent or a friend to help you with that. Okay, now you see my sloth has arms and I stuck my finger in the paint. So watch out for that. This is still wet. And there's your sloth. And once he has his face, it'll look like this. So if you like sloths, I have some books for you. We've got some great ones here at the library. So the first one is A Little Book of Sloth. And <laughs> you might think sloths are weird, which they kind of are. But this has a ton of pictures of baby sloths, and they are so cute. They've got the cutest little noses. So check out this book, lots of cute pictures in this one. My second book is this one called, Who Are You Calling Weird? And you might have heard me recommend this one before. I just think it's absolutely fabulous. You will find our sloth friends in this book, but you'll also find other animals like sloths that are kind of weird, maybe a little misunderstood. Um, if you like that kind of thing, check this out. It's called Who Are You Calling Weird? Another one that might interest you is a book on the rainforest. Um, if you're interested in sloths and their lives and where they live, this will tell you all about that rainforest habitat. Um, another thing I love about this book is just how colorful it is, and you're going to see real life pictures in this that um, really explain, explain what the rainforest looks like. And lastly, is this um, graphic novel called Peter and Ernesto, The Tale of Two Slaws. And if you haven't read this yet, please, please, please check it out. It's so cute, it's so funny, and it's the tale of two sloths and their best friends, but they are complete opposites. One, one is a homebody, they just want to stay home, and Ernesto down here, he wants to go on an adventure. So this book is about them two being opposites, but also being best friends, and it's hilarious. So please check this out. It's Peter and Ernesto. Hey Springville, I hope you enjoyed this craft. Don't forget to log your minutes with us on our website. Um, I hope you're having a great summer and happy reading.